wanted to get my paws on one of these. Hey, David, what do you want me to do with this? Uh, just set it over there. Man, I wish I could get a new system. Upgrading? Tough luck, pal. Years of faithful service and suddenly you're dumped. Are you all plugged in? Uh, not yet. As soon as my dad gets here. I hear you can play incredible games on the internet. Yeah, I know. Once I get my modem hooked up, we can go online and surf the net all day. Great. Hey, Dad. Hey, here we go. Now, David, your mother and I are giving you the system to learn, not just play, all right? I know. Okay. Make sure the monitor is working. Good? Oh. I'll be out front working on the car if you need me. See you guys later. Okay. Okay. Bye. Let's get the games. Oh, oh go to that one. That one? Okay. And then next goes this one. Oh, go to that one. That one? Which one? Go to that one. Wait, let's see this one first. Okay. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hello? Bad. What do you guys see in that thing? Look at you. You're totally absorbed. Myself, I prefer to be captivated by a good story. And the best storyteller of all, in my opinion, was Shahrazad in... The Thousand and One Arabian Nights, a collection of tales from India, Persia, and Arabia. In the tales, Scheherazade is the wife of a brutal Persian king. She and her sister knew the kingdom was in trouble. The king was having people killed. He had lost his mind and sentenced Scheherazade to die in the morning. How dare you feed me this slop? Guards! Take him away. He shall die tomorrow along with the queen. You are restless, your majesty. Of course I am. I am restless as well, your majesty. My dear sister, I wonder if you can tell one of those wonderful stories you know. Stories? I love stories. Would your majesty allow Scheherazade to tell a story? Since I am to die in the morning, I would love to fill our last hours together. Stop blattering like the goats you are. Begin! I have heard, O oh, auspicious king, the story of Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves. Baba was a poor merchant. He made a very meager living gathering wood to sell. One day, Ali Baba was lost in the desert. Okay, I think I've passed by this rock before. Of course, being poor and lost is a pretty bad combination. But what can happen? Ooh, travelers to help me? No. Bandits to hurt me! Woo! Okay. Come on, team, we are leaving! That's fine. Great! My donkeys are gone. Bandits all around. But I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter, but I am leaving. I'm leaving right now. I am so gone! You guys play your games. I'm back on the block. This is where the real action is. Better patrol the area. 
Ah, disturbance on the 700 block. Proceed with caution. I'm gonna be late. Oh. Ever you're in a hurry, that's when things go wrong. What's the trouble, ma'am? Shoot! Oh, hey, just trying to help. Um, Wanda, hello. I think you forgot something. Go. Sit. What's human for purse? <coughs> hmm, didn't work. Guess that communication thing still isn't there. I really thought I'd lost my accent. Uh, Wanda? Wanda? I'm sure that's not where that purse goes. more into the street. Look both ways and wishbone to the rescue! <laughs> Whoops! Okay, sweetheart, hand over the purse. Finders keepers. Of all the streets in Oakdale, she had to walk into mine. Hey, human speed bump. Uh, David, you want to step outside with me for a minute? Hey, guys, wake up. Look at this. It's different kinds of chat groups. Oh, let's see this one. Looks like somebody sat on the keyboard. It must be a discussion all in code or something. Let me see if I can get in. Well, at least they're talking to someone. Wait, you're just gonna jump right in the middle of someone's conversation? Why not? Aw, oh, man, I need to figure out the password. Well, they obviously don't want you to join in. Well, they can't stop me. I'm gonna figure it out. You've got to be careful which password you learn. That's what Alibaba found out. Look at all that loot. These guys are pros. What am I afraid of? I'm sure they're reasonable people. I'll just explain that I'm lost and... Ooh. On second thought, I'll wait. I've got nothing but time. Okay, give me the password. The password. I told you to remember the password! No, the, I, I don't remember you telling me that. Who knows the password? You're all good for nothing. I should gut you like fish. I should let none of you in. Let's see. Uh, what was the password? Oh, the, the, the password? You should have told me. Open sesame! Wow! Did I just see that? Uh, the password is open sesame. Oh no! What are you waiting for? Stay here. There's another thief and keep guard. Okay. And don't steal anything, huh? In there. Come on. Go, let's go. We have no time. You follow me. You stand guard. Want to take a lunch break? <laughs> Did he say lunch?
I'll just take a quick peek. Hello? Any nasty thieves at home? <gasps> yes, hello. Look at all this treasure. Well, I did lose my donkeys. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Just in case. Ah! I'm... And Alibaba left the cave, taking one small bag of golden coins. Sister, it is dawn. Why have you stopped? What happens in the rest of the story? You will never know. What? Never mind about that! I shall postpone your execution for one more day, so that you can finish the story tonight. May I spend the day with my sister? Yes. Just be back to finish. As you wish, Your Majesty. These guys are still talking. Well, I couldn't figure out the password, so I'm gonna have to crack the code. They need a bank account number. They're talking about stolen money. Stolen money? It's a joke. They're playing a joke. Yeah, but why would they put it in code? Because they know someone like David is going to figure it out and think it's real. Well, I do think it's real. Why would they make it up? Well, call me if you figure out anything. I'm going to go shoot some hoops. Yeah, I think I'll go with you. I was supposed to be home an hour ago. Oh, and David, if they really are talking about stealing, be careful. And speaking of stolen money... David, would you take me to the candy store? I'm kind of busy right now, Emily. I want to go now. You've got to stop her. She's gone money mad. That's not nice, Emily. I'll give you $20 if you take me. Well, where'd you get that money? It's mine. I found it. That's not your money, Emily. It's two. Call the reinforcement. She's more than we can handle. Okay, David, I've got the evidence. You get the suspect. Emily. Get her, David. Get her. I, sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. Good. Looks like David needs some help. Stop in the name of the dog. I know I had it in my hand. Hey, Joe. Joe, can you come in the house for a second? I just wrote part of a new story, and I really want to see what you think. Sure. Thanks. Oh, Ellen, have you seen my little clutch purse? No one. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, I, I was in such a hurry this morning, and I, I can't remember what I did with it. Um, Joe, have you seen it? No, sorry, Miss Gilmore, but I'll look, though. Okay, thanks. Thank you both. I, I guess I'll just keep retracing my steps. Good idea.
Nathan Barnes? Yes. Agent Bates, FBI. Are they after Emily? Go easy. She's just a kid. So uh, what can I do for you? Well, if you wouldn't mind, we'd like you to verify the balance of your account at Oakdale National. I don't understand. Please. Which account? Your checking account. Please enter your checking account number and press pound. We appreciate your cooperation. It's an urgent matter. Is there anything to help? Your checking account balance is three million six hundred ninety-two dollars and Does it seem high to you, Mr. Barnes? Uh, un unless I got a big raise, uh, yeah, it does seem high. What's going on here? You have stolen money in your checking account, Mr. Barnes. Hmm. This story gets better and better. Not now. I must hear what happens to Alibaba. I have heard, oh auspicious king, that Alibaba took his gold to the home of his greedy brother. Baba, what has happened? You pretend to be miserably poor, and yet you have so much gold. You don't count it. You weigh it. Well, it's quite a little scandal. Can you keep a secret? Of course. Well, I was riding through the desert, and I lost my donkeys, and there were these bandits. <laughs> they have a special magic cave, and this password, Open Sesame. You wouldn't believe all the gold and jewels. But these thieves looked pretty mean. We have to be careful. Of course, brother. <laughs> I say we bury this gold for a while to see if the bandits come after us. Yes, but why didn't you take more? Let us go back. We only take what is already stolen. Now see, you're already being greedy. Here, go that. Stay here and don't tell anyone. Of course, brother. At last! I'll see if you lied to me, Alibaba. Open Sesame! Mommy, help me. Let me out, David. Let me out. Let me out, David. Let me okay, out. Okay, I'll 
let you out as long as you promise not to run away. I promise. Okay, I'm opening the door. That's not fair. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to give back the money and the purse. Do you understand? But I found it. You have got to admire her. She doesn't back down. Well, if you found it, that means somebody lost it, and we have to find out who. Well, I'd be in trouble. I'm your big brother. Would I let you be in trouble? Okay. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Alibaba was a good brother, too. I know Kasim, he's gotten giddy for gold. Ooh, thought I smelled something. Daffy for diamonds, jolly for jewelry. Great. He forgot the password. <gasps> oh, no, they're heading back. Okay, I'm pretty sure I remember how this works. Open sesame! Oh, 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 oh mercy, mercy. <laughs> Let me live. I only want... Oh, it's only you, Alibaba. What took you so long? Help me carry out some of these riches. Listen, your greed is going to get us ground up. Take a look over there, buddy. Got a clue? It's like this, bro. We gotta go. Follow me. Stop it! Stop you! Them. Get them! Where did they go? We will be watching for you! Many years later, after the 40 thieves had died, Alibaba returned to the rock cave with his son. Using their fortune in moderation, Alibaba and his family lived in honor. By the way, Tell the royal cook that today's curry was excellent. <laughs> what? Have you finished? Yes, your majesty. Unhappily, it is time for my sister's execution. Otherwise, she could begin another tale. Oh, yes. There are so many. I could tell you the story of Aladdin and his magical lamp. Within the lamp lived a powerful genie. Too bad there is no time, my king. Well, how many nights will this Aladdin story take? We could reschedule your execution. <clears throat> How's the 15th? Sister, what about the story of the enchanted <laughs> horse? Oh, yes. Or of brave Sinbad and his seven voyages. I, I just don't see how we're going to fit this execution in. Let's just cancel it. Start talking. Shahrazad entertained the king and changed his heart with her stories. He regained his right mind, and together, he and Shahrazad ruled the kingdom with wisdom and mercy. Now let me do all the talking, okay? You'll be just fine. Excuse me, Dad. Uh, can I talk to you? Uh, I'm very busy right now, David. These folks are with the FBI. What's wrong, Dad? It seems like someone has made a wire transfer into my checking account at Oakdale National. A huge amount of stolen money. Uh-oh! Emily, you're busted! Follow me, I'll hide you. Stolen money? That's what the guys on the internet were talking about in code. I knew it was real. What do you mean, son? Well, Joe and Sam and I were following a code of conversation on my computer. This, uh, Joe and Sam, friends of yours? Yes, sir. Where do they live? Well, Joe lives right next door. Check them out. Do you have information for us? Um, maybe. You want to come see? Yes. Okay. We've been after the thieves for months. They found a way to withdraw money from other people's accounts and transfer it into their accounts with their modems. Uh, we noticed the transfer to your father's account right away. How'd you break the code? Oh, well, I found the letter that they used the most, and I made that letter E. And then I figured out the others by process of elimination. I still can't figure out how the money got into my account. Oops. That's not the sound I want to hear, David. I think I know what happened. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was chasing Emily around, and I accidentally engaged your banking program. David, isn't this cool? It's the real FBI. I wonder if you could investigate a lost purse. Oh, Miss Gilmore, about that purse? They're talking again. Look. It says they're headed for... For the airport. Good work, son. We gotta hurry. We gotta clear up this computer. I can't have you driving down the information highway without a license. Have no fear. The stolen goods have been recovered. There's my purse. Naughty, naughty dog. Huh? Oops. Bad, bad dog. Bad, bad... But she... But I... But you... Emily, you've done it to me again. Great! Excuse me! Gotta go!